Hi, I'm Pat Coppa, president of Power Test, with the November edition of Making It Better, one month at a time. As many of you know, here at Power Test, we say that we like to make it better for our customers, for our employees, and for society. This month, I'm going to focus on how we made it better for our employees with our unique Army Physical Fitness Test, which we do twice a year. Second, I'm going to talk about how we've proceeded on our lean journey here at Power Test and made life better for our employees and our customers. And last, I'm going to talk about how we made the world a better place with a donation to the Milwaukee Rescue Mission. So first and foremost, the physical fitness test. This is something uniquely Power Test. We do it two times a year. And unlike other places that might pay their employees for health club memberships they may or may not ever use, we believe in paying for results and paying for performance here at Power Test. So, we invite our employees two times a year to participate in the Army's physical fitness test. We bring military personnel to our business who facilitate a test to the Army's actual standards. Well, I'm happy to report that this time around, we had 56% participation from our employees. Now, this is a totally voluntary event, but you can make real money if you participate and if you're keeping yourself healthy. So how'd they do? Well, I'm thrilled to tell you that of those that participated, 57% improved their score over last time and received a $100 bonus as a result. How many passed the test? I'm happy to tell you that 69% of those that participated reached the minimum required score on both sit-ups, push-ups, and a two-mile run. That's pretty impressive, and as a result, Power Test paid to our employees over $25,000 that can go directly to their HSA account or go right to their pockets, hopefully to spend on something healthy, like a bicycle or new running shoes. Many thanks to the Army personnel who came on site and helped facilitate that test, and congratulations to all of our employees who are pursuing a healthier life in their pursuit of one of our company values, which is to ski with your grandkids when you're 77. Now, on top of the generous financial payouts that we provide to our employees from the PFT, I'm most impressed by the team building aspects of this event. I've never been involved with a team building event as effective as this crazy PFT. We have employees from all different functions in the fitness center cheering each other on, pushing for one more push-up, pushing for one more sit-up, really truly supporting each other. They're going through a common, challenging experience together and really do build team spirit and camaraderie from this event. Next, I'm happy and proud to tell you that Power Test is continuing on its lean journey, both lean manufacturing and lean office space operations. This month, our employees learn you can make a job that's challenging and frustrating into something that's productive, efficient, and enjoyable. It's part of making work better for our employees. Now the carryover effect is that it's not just good for us and our employees, it's good for our customers because we can make things quicker at a higher quality level and keep our costs under control. It's a win-win for everybody. And we're super excited about lean manufacturing and lean office operations here at PowerTest. Last but not least, in November, we continue to support one of our favorite charities, which is the Milwaukee Rescue Mission. The Milwaukee Rescue Mission takes people off the street gives them spirituality, shelter, food, and training, and gets them back in the world as a productive member of society. Well, the last three years, our employees have organized and run a food drive. This year, we did it again, collecting over two pallets of food and Power Test delivered a $10,000 check to Milwaukee Rescue Mission while they were here. We are so proud of our employees to take this on on their own initiative, and we are more than happy to back it up financially as well. So that wraps it up for November. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next month. And in the meantime, let's all make the world a better place 30 days at a time. Oh yeah, one more thing. It's November, which means college football is coming to an exciting conclusion. And my University of Wisconsin Badgers are actually in the hunt for a national championship for the first time in my lifetime. I'm 51 years old. That's a small miracle. <laughs> so good luck to the Crimson Tide. Good luck to Ohio State, sort of. Good luck to Michigan. Good luck to Clemson, Louisville, Washington. But don't forget about those Badgers.